couple of the ways we can uh, close it, one surface to another surface uh, are we can do it in terrain. So here we've got our undercut. And we're going to just create a feature around that surface. And if I want to extend that up to our subgrade, let's use our grading tool. Actually, before I use that, I'm going to just check. So I want to grade to the left. I'm going to set this to be final subgrade. And we'll choose our slope to be whatever we like. I'm going to set this at 5 meter spacing. And oh, there we are. Now here I've got a, a few bad triangles just because I don't interact that, intercept that other surface. We can change that by hand. And we can remodel. So that's one way. We've tied up to the other surface. And let's add in that background just so we can see that it's doing what I say it is. tied together. Now the other way to do it is in location. So I'm not going to save that. Oops. And here I want to extend that surface. I'll come in down here. Layer properties, surface layer 15 and auto extend. So we've got that auto extended out to match our surface. Um, in the live version of our webinar, the issue that I ran into is I've extended the, uh, I've extended that uh, surface by hand out past the other. So what it does there is it cl closes it at the uh, first location where it intersects the ground using that feature. Um, yeah, hope that clears up any confusion and uh, addresses the, the questions that I uh, left unanswered in the webinar. And uh, thanks for watching.